All right, guys, let's talk about crypto here. I did send out the signals already. Happy Sunday to you guys. Uh, let's dive right into it. So uh, I'm going to be going into buying Bitcoin and all the rest of the cryptocurrencies for this week here. Uh, start out on buying crypto. Uh, looking for Bitcoin to hit back to 70,000. That would be my first uh, TP there for take profit. And then also the next move would be 71,000. And then the final move would be to break the high price of 73,000. Um, so far, it's been stuck here in this range. And so I'm going to zone out the structure here real quick and uh, looking into see where it's going to go from there. So 69, it needs to hit above 72. That's my peak target there uh, for the highest and then make a move to break above 73,000. Other than that, um, it's it's still ranging around here uh, for the time being for today. So um, if it does not have a bullish momentum, if it doesn't keep up with the uptrend, um, we're going to end up selling it probably either uh, tonight or back tomorrow morning. Ethereum, we can, uh, we're going to buy Ethereum. I'm looking for Ethereum to hit 3500 and then the next move will be to break 30, uh, 3600 from there. And then... The high price of four thousand. I'm not for sure about for the target of four thousand. I am looking for a move to break thirty six hundred back to thirty eight hundred at the highest for me. And then we'll see if it tries to hit the highest price of four thousand. Maybe later on. So what I'm really expecting is for crypto to hit one more big move, and then we'll see what's going to happen from there. So. Uh, buying Litecoin for 105, and then the next move we break 109 at the peak of 109, and then from there we'll see if Litecoin makes a jump to go higher than 110. Uh, for Shiba, looking for Shiba to hit the 30 mark again, and then hit back 32, and then the high price uh the was the wick at yeah, four five, and then um I'm not for sure if it's gonna hit four or five again, um. Uh, before it even breaks three two here, so uh, there's a lot of resistance at the at the thirty five hundred mark here. So we'll see if Shiba even makes a move to go that high again. Dogecoin making a move back up here. So Dogecoin is I got an eight point two six percent gain so far today at uh, twenty cents in value. Uh, looking for it to break twenty two cents in value. And then we'll see if it holds the price above twenty two cents. If not, then yeah, instead of selling it back down, Ripple, uh, looking for Ripple to make a move back to break sixty one sixty two cents in value. And then from there, I'd be looking to shoot for sixty five. There's a lot of resistance at sixty five here, um, based on the daily chart here analysis. So, it really comes down to how much more it's going to drive the price up even further. Neo, Neo is losing steam right now. Uh, looking to buy Neo for sixteen. I that's as high as I'm willing to shoot for Neo at this point. Uh, it's under sixteen right now. It's losing a lot of steam here on the daily chart. So, uh, not really seeing a, a full uptrend like what it did uh, a few weeks back. That's uh, not it's not one of my points to really buy a lot on. Let's see, Dash, same thing with Dash. Dash is not another point. I, I like to spend too much uh, buying pressure on this. Not a lot of buying pressure for this coin. It's stuck at 37. Uh, I'm looking just to buy up to 40, and then that, that that's as high as I'm willing to go for Dash. Solana, looking for Solana to make another move back to 200. And if it doesn't break above 200 to sustain a price above 200, I'm just going to sell it back down. Every time it's gone back to test 202 and 203, it's been getting shot back. So pay close attention to the uh, peak prices there for Solana. Uh, Zcash, looking Z, uh, buying Zcash to hit 30 and 31. And then the final move would be 32. I, I'm not really shooting. I'm not really having high hopes for this uh, for this Zcash hit even higher than 32 uh, for this week. So that's be the price range I'd be just be looking to stay around. Teasels, uh, looking for uh, buying Teasels uh, for to hit one thirty in value, and then the next move would be 
break 140 in value. There's a lot of resistance at the 140 price. So we will see if Tezo even keep itself going. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys for the crypto analysis and the uh um <clears throat> For what we're going to do for today. they probably end up switching it back to the sell if cryptocurrency does not hold up its bullish momentum or even the uptrend here. So, any questions, let me know in the Telegram chat group, guys. Annette, peace out. All right, guys, happy Sunday, fun day. Let's get into it for the April 7th Sunday weekly analysis. I already sent out the weekly swing signals. Uh, we are looking to sell the U.S. dollar for this week here. And so I'm looking for the U.S. dollar to come back down to break below 104. And then the next move will be to come down to 103. All right. So let's get into here. Um, buying all the indices again. So I'm looking for Wall Street, S&P 500, and NASDAQ to break above uh, their high price again. And if it does not, we're going to end up selling it back down. So... Uh, buying Wall Street to hit 40,000 again. And then we'll see if it sustains a move at 40,000. If not, it's going to sell it back down. Uh, buying S&P 500 for 5,300. And then the next move will be 5,400 for the S&P 500. Okay. Same a lot of numbers here. So NASDAQ, NAS 100 here. So uh, buying NASDAQ for 18,500. And then we'll see if it sets a new record high for this week. Uh, I'm just looking for another big bullish move. And then from there, um, tax season is almost done. Um, next week is going to be the last week of tax season. So I'm just expecting one more big um, move here for these guys. And then we'll see if they if they even sustain any of this uptrend here. And like I said, it is a matter of time. I just don't know when um, the markets are going to make that correction or make that shift going back down. All right. So... Gold. Gold is on a really strong bullish momentum along with silver. Uh, been keeping up to date with silver now since silver has been skyrocketing. And so these two pairs are on a bullish move uh, looking for gold to hit 2400 this week. So that is the uh, peak high. I'm looking at 2400 for gold and then for silver to hit $30 in value. And so that's what I'd be looking at. Um, if I want to come back here and talk a little bit more about silver. Uh, silver has been peaking at these prices back here. Uh, let's see, this was back in 20. So this is back in the, the pandemic. So silver peaked at its high. And so during the pandemic here in, in August of 2020, and then they shot it back down and they shot right back up here, uh, February 2021 to 30. So, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they shoot this even even higher um, based on what's happening right now with the markets. So, if that's the case, eventually Wall, eventually Wall Street, S&P, and NASDAQ would come back down. So, uh, let's see here. It's selling, um, yeah. Selling uh, UJ, uh, looking for this pair to drop back down to 150 and then the next move would be break 149 and then the third move would be 148 and then selling us dollar swiss franc back down to 89 and then the next move would be to break 89 to 88 and then for ucad selling ucad back down to 135 and then break 135 back to 134 um i believe we're buying Euro British pound. I think so. I think we're buying Euro British pound, dude. Yes, we are buying Euro British pound for 86. And then the next move will be break 87. And then we are buying the euro here, looking for euro to hit a dollar and nine and then hit 110. And then selling the pound. The pound has been losing quite a bit of steam on Friday. So uh, looking for it to come back down to 126 and break 126 back down to 125. And then uh, selling Australia and the New Zealand dollar here as well. Uh, selling the Australian dollar back to hit 65 and then 64. And then selling the New Zealand dollar back to break 59 back down to 58. And if that's the case, might end up buying 
um, switching up and buying you you can here for this week. Uh, as far as for the economic calendar, we have New Zealand's rate statement, which is Tuesday night. We have Bank of Canada's rate statement and the press conference for Bank of Canada on Wednesday morning in New York sessions. And then we also have the Euro Central Bank's uh, their monetary policy statement and their financing rate here on Thursday morning. Uh, we core CPI Thursday morning for New York sessions and the ECB, which is the European Central Bank press conference during New York sessions. And then finishing off Friday with the GDP and the Blend area. University of Michigan's consumer settlement. Uh, not too much aware about that. So other than that, FOMC minutes is probably to be the biggest one on Wednesday afternoon, New York session. So Wednesday is going to be a big heavy hitter. Uh, we're going to see what's going to happen with the Federal Reserve community and uh, how they're going to relate to the economy, the inflation, and if they're actually going to cut rates this year. So any questions, let me know in the Telegram chat group. And so... <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> any questions, let me know in the Telegram chat group. All right, that. Peace out, guys. Have a, have a great Sunday.